Warning. Paragliding is an extreme sport that can result in serious injury or death. This is a video guided instruction to improve your abilities and safety in free flight. To achieve success and avoid injury, you must follow the instructions step by step. It is very important or else you might hurt yourself or even put your life in danger. Keep practicing in the following order and don't jump any of those steps. Before moving on, make sure you master the previous step. You can start this exercise as soon as you graduate from your paragliding school and master the basics. This video does not eliminate the necessity of a school and an instructor. You are responsible for your own actions and safety. I do not accept any responsibility nor liability if you try to copy any of in this video shown maneuvers. You must know your own limitations and act accordingly. What is a stall? This occurs when the critical angle of attack of the foil is exceeded. The critical angle of attack is typically about 15 degrees. A stall may also occur when minimum speed is surpassed, which on a paraglider can be about 22 km per hour. But it may vary significantly depending on the air, difference in temperature, pressure and humidity, wing and Reynolds number. Uses the stall is one of the most important maneuvers with multiple uses like to lose altitude quickly without changing direction for top landing or tight landing places. And the most important use is to reset the glider after making a mistake or after a bad thermal collapse. If you master the stall you will solve your problems fast and safe with enough altitude. So. It's a maneuver to learn as soon as possible. Preparation 1. You need to know the basics first. 2. You'll need ideal conditions. The weather is perfect with lots of granted altitude. No turbulences. Pilot is in perfect physical and mental shape. Equipment is in good condition, new and checked. Understand the movement in theory. Visualize step by step in your head and mimic the movement with your hands. Don't fly alone or at least warn some people that you are flying and have a cell phone in case of emergency. Adjust your harness to a sitting position and open your chest straps, preferably on a simulator before flight. Remember, preparation is key to success. You don't want anything left to destiny. Step 1. Minimal speed. The limit where your glider is still flying but very slowly on the edge to a stall. At this position the brake pressure is very heavy. This speed is used to land or to reduce glide ratio. Sit symmetrical. Put your feet under your seat. Stop by slowly, gradually and symmetrically braking until it gets very heavy. Now you are in minimal speed. To exit, just release. Be careful. In that position, a small turbulence can induce a stall by changing your angle. In that case, release immediately and break the following surge. To master it, try to hold minimal speed for a longer period of time. Use it to reduce your glide ratio. Step 2. Pitch Pendulum You are flying straight, swinging back and forth, constantly changing between flying up and diving down. Sit symmetrical and put your feet under your seat. Start by quickly and symmetrically pulling both brakes to the point of minimum velocity. 2. After pulling, hold the brakes until the wing is straight over your head, then release. 3. The wing shoots to the front and you will dive and accelerate. 4. When you swing under the wing, you can start braking again and repeat this until you amplify the oscillation. 5. To exit, you simply do the opposite. You brake when the wing is in front and release when in your back. After braking the surge, release immediately to get back to normal flight. It's all about timing. If you swing very strong, you will get a front collapse. To prevent it, brake the wing when in front. 
this exercise is important to get comfortable with the surge of your wing. Master it to prevent front collapses. If you break too much, you can easily stall. So in that case, release immediately. When the wing shoots to the front too much, break as much as possible to minimize the collapse and release again to get back to normal flight. Stall point. Pre-stall. This maneuver shows you the limit of your brake course. You never go below this point. The wing stops flying, but you are still moving forward. A pre-stall loses very little altitude in comparison to a full stall. 1. Sit symmetrical and put your feet under your seat. Start by pulling the brakes slowly, gradually and symmetrically. 2. Once you reach minimal velocity and your wing is quiet, not swinging, you pull just one centimeter more. Suddenly, you will feel the brakes getting soft and your wing starts to fall behind. Don't panic. 3. Release immediately and break the surge. This exercise is very important, so repeat it at least a hundred times. As soon as you mastered it, you can move on to some more advanced exercises like Restall, release, minimal velocity, and repeat. This is a descent technique for top landing or landing in tight spaces. The other exercise is pre-stall, release, and using the pendulum to do another pre-stall and release. And after releasing the pre-stall, you will need to break the surge. This is also called a pitch stall. A very fun exercise, but in comparison to the pitch pendulum, it takes a little bit more altitude. If you're not symmetrical, it can cause a bad exit, also resulting in asymmetric collapses. Make sure to be able to control that situation by weight shifting to the opposite side and carefully braking. You mastered already pitch pendulum, now you can break any surge. Minimum velocity, you can hold this position solid for a long time. Pre-stall, you are doing them every time and everywhere. Now you are ready for some more demanding maneuvers. Backfly, the backfly, also known as fly back, tail slide or stabilized full stall, is when your wing stop flying forward and now is flying or sliding backwards. This configuration is used to stabilize a situation which got out of control. Basically, you can reset many situations by stalling, stabilizing in flyback and releasing, taking back control for normal flight. For this reason, it's very important for acro and cross-country flying. Step 1. Sit symmetrically, put your feet under your seat, start by braking gradually, slowly, symmetrically. Now you're in minimum velocity, the wing is quiet not swinging anymore. Step 2. Pull 1 cm more to stall the wing and hold that position while the wing is falling behind. Don't release now or else the wing might surge very violently resulting in a huge front collapse or you might even fall into the canopy. Step 3. Wait until you swing underneath the wing then you start releasing back to minimum velocity position or maybe a little bit above that position. This is the back fly. Due to the pendulum motion, the wing will rock back and forth a few times. Step 4. To exit, release slowly and gradually. After stalling, if you don't release to stabilize, it may get out of control very quickly, causing cravats and twists. Also, if you release too quickly, the wing will shoot violently. In that case, break as hard as you can to prevent or minimize the collapse. Deep stall. You stop to fly in a stall but the wing isn't flying forward nor backwards, you're descending down straight. It's far more sensitive than a backfly. Step 1. Sit symmetrically, put your feet under your seat, start by braking slowly, gradually and symmetrically until the brakes get really hard. Now you're in minimal velocity. The wing is quiet and doesn't swing anymore. Step 2. Pull 1 cm more to stall. Step 3. It's a very sensitive maneuver. Don't let the wing drop back, so release immediately to 25% brake. Too much brake and it will fall into a backfly. 
not enough brake and it will shoot forwards. The wing gets very sensitive, so to correct use minimal inputs. Step 4. To exit, just release it. If your attempt goes out of control, don't try to correct too much or else you might make it worse. If you try to correct too much or too aggressively, it may start to spin like in a helico. In that case, just release and break the surge. There are many ways to practice without risking your life. One of those are while practicing on the ground. For example, to practice a stall point, minimal velocity, you can simulate a takeoff and brake while you are about 2 meters above the ground, minimal velocity or stall point, like I'm showing in this example. To practice a backfly, you can turn your wing around and hold it as if you were flying backwards. It's quite fun and after practicing a lot you will understand how to control your wing and how to correct any oscillation. Hey guys, I hope you liked this little video. It took me a lot of effort but finally I did it. It was bothering me that so many people didn't have a proper source of information and they were risking their lives by doing simple mistakes that were easily avoidable. If you have anything you want to add or any questions, feel free to comment down below. Also, if you like this tutorial, make sure to leave a like. Also, ask many people around you and your instructor. They might help you a lot. If you want to see more paragliding content, make sure to check out my channel. I have tons of videos. Every flight is a video, so make sure to check it out. That's it guys. See you next time.